walking away thinking it all Hi friends, it's Nathan, a second year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo. We're currently doing my hospital placement in the surgery department. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. The past few weeks, I have just not been feeling myself. I have been unproductive, disorganized, my mental health has been slipping, and I just need today to be a reset day. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get caught up in work because I'm behind. I need to do some cleaning and we're just gonna get our lives back together. So if you're in a rut, you're feeling down, let's reset together and get our mindset right for the next week so that we can kill it and be our best selves. So if that's something you need, then keep on watching. Uh, holding the weight of your words. Well, you can sharpen the blade. We're gonna start with a healthy breakfast. I'm gonna make some sardines with spinach and cheese on toast. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that has me really excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Cheers. So in 2022, I really wanted to do more with less, and that really is focused on doing more for my health, doing more for my life. This one drink has allowed me to simplify and declutter all my supplements. My cabinets are no longer filled with vitamins. And I know as a pharmacy student, it can be very overwhelming taking so many vitamins and minerals and supplements. But with Athletic Greens, it's just one canister, one scoop, and eight ounces of water. I fully believe that if you're gonna take supplements, it should have a purpose. And for me, taking Athletic Greens has allowed me to improve immunity because I work in a hospital. I'm around sick patients a lot. I wanna make sure that my immune system is up to par. It has also allowed me to boost my energy. Again, long days at the hospital. I wanna make sure that I am doing my best work and that I'm not feeling tired. And uh, of course, all my studying needs to be fueled somehow. And and of course, the product is vegan, keto, and paleo friendly. So it's really good for everyone. So if you are looking to improve your health, go to athleticgreens.com slash to get started with your order. And even better, Athletic Greens is giving my community a free one-year supply of vitamin D, as well as five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you, Athletic Greens, for sponsoring this video. And let's continue on with the morning. I finished eating and I'm sitting down planning my next video. The video is going to be about Kim Kardashian's controversial business advice and where she told people they need to get their ass up and work. Now, this caused a lot of frenzy and a lot of storm on the public because a lot of people were thinking that from Kim Kardashian's perspective, we're not successful because we're not working hard enough. And as a study tuber, I really wanted to unpack that because I feel like as students, we're constantly being told, if you're not getting the good grades, work harder, study harder. And I wanted to talk about that because there is an issue with it, but there's also some truth in it. And I really wanted to dive into it. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. I will link it above here. But I'm going to get on with planning because I wanted to get this filmed by the afternoon. And we got to back to my sunlight. So let's get going. But I'm in the right direction. All of the time that it takes all the commotion. Video planning is finally done and uh, we're gonna get started with filming. So here I have my setup. I'm just gonna be sitting on the couch here. I have my tripod and we're gonna get this reaction video done. I'm finished filming. So I'm going to finally make some lunch. It's getting quite dark. So let's turn on the light. And for lunch, I'm gonna have what I made yesterday. So I made some, what is it? That's oh, here. It is chicken and asparagus. I can't open this with one hand. Give me a second. We got asparagus, chicken, and chili crisps, and then there's rice with cheese. And then once I put this in the microwave, we will be ready to eat. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, it is sizzling. 
Ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. And then we're gonna mix it all up. back at my desk where else would i really be i need to edit this video by tonight i don't want to get stressed because the whole point is a reset vlog so i want to stay calm and collected but i just need to get things done and i know i'll feel great once it's all done and off my plate so let's get to it I've been sitting at this desk for an hour and a half and I just need to really get up and take a break so I think I'm gonna start doing some cleaning my kitchen is an absolute mess it's on life support so we're gonna start there and then probably just vacuum up my room now I always say that cleaning is very representational it's almost like getting rid of negative energy in your life starting afresh starting clean starting new and that's how I kind of look at it I'm gonna have my airpods in, play some good tunes and just do what I need to do. Earlier in the video, I spoke that, um, you know, my mental health hasn't been doing great. And um, maybe I'll share it with you when I'm ready in a future video. But I'm just on one of the lows. And I think life is like a mix of highs and lows. I was on a high early February and then mid-February, it just kind of came crashing down and I'm on a low. And it seems like the low is still scheduled to continue. And that's why like this reset is so needed because I don't know how long this low will continue, but if there's one thing that I can control is my mentality. So despite everything that I can't control, if you know I'm looking at it in a positive outlook, it'll be better than if I wasn't. So that's kind of what I'm going through. But yeah, we're just gonna get started with cleaning. So if you have laundry that's piling up, dishes piling up, come clean with me. I'm embarrassed to show you my kitchen, but these dishes need to be done. These two are mine, the rest is my roommates. The stove is, bad um, i've been doing a lot of frying recently so as a result the oil splashes the microwave is also not looking too hot and then the floors yeah they need um they need some plastic surgery so we are gonna fix all of this up so let's get cleaning Okay, so obviously you see like stains on the floor here. I got these from the hospital. They're benzylconium chloride wipes. So they should be heavy duties. I usually have Lysol wipes, but I ran out. They're like medical grade. So if it doesn't get these stains out, then nothing will. And I don't want to like put my hands near it. So we're just going to put this here and then I'm just going to use my slides and... Oh, look, look, it's gone. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing them uh, and swipe my foot across the floor here. Look how clean the kitchen is so satisfying and then the bathroom is all cleaned and freshened up look how clean that mirror is i have an issue with splashage so no more water stains and then my room is also looking at very very clean and very very tidy Although it looks pretty mucky outside. I feel like I'm in a new apartment. Like it's clean, it's tidy, the vibes are immaculate. And now I'm just going to post a reel on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, you definitely should at Nathan.Woo. I've been posting a lot of funny, relatable student reels and you guys have been loving it. I read the comments and you guys literally crack me up. So definitely if you want a good laugh and want some reminiscence, definitely go check me out on Instagram. I will link my profile in the description box below. But yeah, let's post this and then we're gonna go make some dinner. <laughs> Instagram reel is posted and now it's time to make dinner. What should I have? 
Hmm. I think I'm gonna have maybe salmon and asparagus. I can just pop those in the oven and then I can shower and then it'll be done by the time I'm out. So let's do that. It takes all the commotion. My parents always say that I'm very book smart, but when it comes to other things, not so much because why did I think that all this asparagus would fit in my little tray, in my little toaster oven? Like, this is ridiculous. There's no way that this will all cook thoroughly on this mini tray. So we're gonna transfer this onto here and then we're gonna pop it into the large oven. Why can't it preheat faster? But it smells so good. Oh, I need to put Parmesan. Almost forgot that. Time's ready. So I added the Parmesan onto the asparagus. So we're just going to pop this in. Ooh, that heat. We almost dropped it. Okay. And we will see you in 30 minutes. As you can see, I just got out of the shower. The salmon is done. It smells a little bit burnt. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it is, okay? Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, please don't be burnt. Please don't be burnt. Um, oh, my glasses, okay. Um, okay. So the cheese got burnt, of course, um, but the asparagus is not burnt and the salmon looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ignore this corner, but the rest of it looks great. Okay, actually, ignore what I said, but I think I cooked it perfectly. The asparagus, it's beige, so it's supposed to be crispy, and I like it crispy. It's charred. That's the word we like to use. Salmon looks great. Um, it might have been a little bit on the overcooked side, but we'll have to taste to find out. And then, of course, we got some jasmine rice. And then I'm watching The Good Doctor. I'm like a pretty simple cook, but like tonight's dinner was absolutely exceptional. Everything about it, I think I executed phenomenally. The asparagus was crunchy, crispy, there was flavor. The salmon slightly overcooked, but the flavor was there. And I added rosemary for the first time and that, guys, add rosemary to your salmon. And then jasmine rice. This is actually a new bag of rice. I had basmati rice in the past, but jasmine rice over basmati, 100%. So. I have leftovers that I'm gonna take for lunch tomorrow and it's gonna be a really good lunch. My coworkers, they're gonna be jealous. Let's do some dishes and then we will get ready for bed. Oh, should I eat some ice cream? Maybe, maybe. we'll see, we'll see. Let's see how I feel. sleep also actually i love being right by the window because it's really therapeutic i can see all the cars pass by and um just kind of a nice view to have but yeah i just finished a phone call um a video chat actually uh with my family and it's good to see them they're all doing really well so i think today was what i needed you know like i said i don't know how my mental health is going to be next week. Again, I'm in one of those lows, but I do think it's gonna get better. I know it will get better, it's just a matter of time. So until then, I'm just gonna stay positive. I love you guys so much and um, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what video ideas you have and what you wanna see next. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. And you should follow me on Instagram at Nathan.Woo and as well as TikTok, it's Nathan Woo and it's a good time there where I post a lot of funny, relatable student content as well as just get a better glimpse of my day-to-day -day life. But that's it for me and I'll see you friends in the next video. Bye.